So we're here at Shepherd's Field, right outside of uh, Bethlehem, very, very close, uh, in a cave that uh, we can come in and actually uh, do mass in, or we can uh, sing and pray, and we just did that. And this is John Foreman, uh, one of our pilgrims on this year's trip, and I, I'm asking them this question, you know, what does it mean to you uh, to travel in the Holy Land, to be here as a pilgrim, and to see these sites for the first time? Well, so let me start by saying one of these nights, you know, time, I don't know, I don't know where I am. <laughs> but one of these nights I woke up just weeping. Um, I mean, my pillow was wet. And that's worth investigating because that doesn't happen very often. Um, and so, you know, it was worth exploring, worth looking at. And that, a couple of things after laying there for a while started to, to come to the surface. And one of them was... This, I mean, it was just a crushing sadness um, for all the ways that we try so hard as the church and fall short. Um, and that was a that was a big part of it. But what was bigger was what that sadness was was wrapped in. It was a it was a joy. It was almost a, almost an ecstasy of sorts that that held that sadness because as we walk around here in these places um, and breathe in. I wanted to say it inspired me, but I'm really breathing it in uh, and drinking it in. The, the reality of this place, both of the historical Christ, but, but even more the presence of the risen Christ, um, kind of looking at all of our failures and all of our best efforts and, and just smiling at us. And I, I, I just have this image of the risen Christ looking at us, even in our failings, and just smiling at us and saying, follow me. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thank you, John.